prepared, but I jotted down some few notes here. Uh, I'm from Erlinger, Kentucky, Toyota Engineering Manufacturing Headquarters for North America. And we're just a few miles away from downtown Cincinnati. I work in the uh, Digital Engineering Processing and Development Group, along with safety, doing ergonomic virtual simulations for humans. And uh, uh, we're using it for work height assessment and positioning of the work, tool design. Sorry. And processing. Uh, we're currently in the beginning stages of virtual ergonomic assessments. Uh, we're having some challenges with uh, when it comes to robots, nobody can simulate a robot physically or in their mind. But with humans, they all say, yeah, I can reach that spark plug, I can put on that hose, I can do all this stuff. So virtual set or virtual tools are kind of difficult to gain traction because everybody knows that they can do, that they can simulate it themselves. So our, our uh, again, some of the challenges and some of our next steps are to measure the value of simulation. We, we need to figure out a way of figuring out why this is better than building prototypes or actually going out on the floor and, and assessing it in the real world. And how to get people to come to us with their problems is, a, is becoming a challenge, or has been a challenge. Like I said, everybody thinks they, they're human so they can assess that themselves. They don't really need a virtual tool to do that for. And uh, we're trying to uh, not only use the tool for assessing ergonomic injuries and positioning of the work and everything else, but spin-offs, what else can we do with it? Can we use it for things like training purposes, make a video, supply it to the uh, factories and the plants and use that as a training tool also. So we're looking for spin-offs and uh, that's about all I got. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you.